If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. But if we analyze how we're actually practicing, we're not practicing shooting. The only time some people practice shooting is when they're in the match. And then they get upset when they don't score enough. So if you wanna score more goals, this time in practice, get those repetitions, practice scoring goals, it'll transfer to the game. I wanna warm up the legs a bit, but also practice this finish that we all need as a striker. Running on a breakaway, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm just gonna open up my feet and I'm gonna pick a corner. Here I wanna practice running with speed because if I have an opportunity to get in on goal and I go too slowly, defender's gonna come back in front of me, now I have to beat him again. Anytime you have the opportunity to get in on goal, use your pace, whatever pace you have, be direct. Then get your head up, then pick your spot, okay? That guy doesn't wanna stay up, he's staying down. So practice with both feet, running with the ball, composure, picking a corner. Okay, so there's two finishes that I would practice here. One is like I've been doing, opening up, opening up, putting it to that far side. The other one that I would practice as a striker, play that pass, attack. Here I'm gonna shape like I'm going there, but way, I'm shaping like I'm going to this corner, giving the keeper the eyes. So with my, with my body positioning, I'm shaping there with my eyes, I'm looking there, but at the last second, I'm passing in there. All right, now you're a little warmed up. Okay, bit of skill. Get your shot on net. So again, same as on the breakaway. If I attack him slow, or if I attack that space slow, I'm gonna have to beat more guys. I'm gonna miss my opportunity to shoot. If I dribble at him slow, I'm easy to defend. defend. If he's on his back foot here, I wanna use my speed to my advantage. Okay, so dribbling, shooting after a bit of skill. So if you don't have a partner or someone to pass, that's fine. Just go, bit of skill, practice getting the shots on there. As a striker, biggest thing is that you're actually hitting the target. Don't worry about it going in the top corner, breaking the net. Just hit the net every single time and then you can focus on hitting those corners a little deeper. Here I wanna focus on getting your shots off quickly. How many times in a game have you had a really good opportunity to shoot, but for some reason you took another touch or maybe you took another touch when you should have just hit it and you knew you should have just hit it or you had a really good opportunity to shoot and for some reason you passed it to a teammate or even worse, you just took way too long and you lost possession or you gave the ball away because you hesitated. Don't let that happen to you, especially as a striker. You need to If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online soccer academy. You need to develop this mindset that anytime that ball's coming to me, especially in the attacking third, I'm already thinking, how can I get my shot off as quickly as possible? Now, I'm not telling you to rush your shots. I'm not telling you to rush your shots. But I am telling you that before that ball is coming to you, I'm not thinking about, okay, have a good first touch. Now maybe I can dribble into space and now I can turn. Before that ball is coming to me, I'm already thinking, here's the space for my shot. And I'm trying to get that off quickly, okay? Because if you take one touch to receive, one touch, let's play, one touch to receive, one touch to turn, turn towards goal. Now I'm gonna try to shoot, it's way too long. This guy's gonna tackle you easily. I'm already thinking, boom, how can I find some space for myself before that ball comes to me? So this is a drill that you could practice shooting off a turn. If you have a teammate or you have something to pass to you into space, getting your shot off, okay? But get in the mindset of before that ball comes to me, I'm already thinking of my first touch. I'm not stopping it then I'm gonna do a bit of skill, and then I'm gonna beat you. It's too long in a game. I'm thinking, boom, get your shot off quickly. So think about 
touch out of space, but also the quick footwork to get to your shot. If I'm receiving this ball, touch, and then I'm moving my feet slowly, it's taking too long. Okay, so focus on good touch, quick feet. Get your shot off quickly. The last of the soccer drills for strikers I wanna show you is one-timers. So as a striker, you need to become comfortable hitting the ball early. If I always need one touch, two touch to set myself before I can get a shot off, I'm gonna miss my opportunities. So let's demo a few different scenarios, ways you could take one-timers. Okay, my teammate wants to play me half volleys. Maybe your teammate will give you better quality. You can play off the turn. Let me see if I can hit that a little cleaner. A little better. Okay, but playing in different ways. And whatever happens, just try to hit it, especially in practice. Don't worry about taking an extra touch. You have to build, build a confidence and you just have to try. You're never gonna be able to hit that full ball. You're never gonna be able to score the goal if you don't try to take the shot. Especially on one time, you really have to focus on where you're making contact on the ball. Pick a specific spot that you wanna hit and keep your eye on that until your foot actually makes contact. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.